to Mojo Grip Mike here. So I'm still at the Hell Expo in Atlanta, and right now we're gonna check out a trainer helicopter, okay? Uh, this helicopter is built and manufactured in France. It is a piston engine, but this is what you would consider a primary trainer or something that you start with uh, from a flight school. All right, so I'm gonna take you around it, uh, share some stats with you, hope you enjoy the video. So guys, here's the Enstrom 280FX. That's the model name for this helicopter. This is a three-bladed rotor system. Okay, and you've got your tail rotors also back here. Let's just go around. Now, from, uh, from the information I've been able to gather with this helicopter, it uses a Lycoming IO360. Uh, a lot of you may be familiar with that engine already. Uh, it's a very popular engine in aviation. Uh, but the one on this helicopter is turbocharged. Okay, so that's why I said it's not your standard trainer. And as you can see, some of the numbers here. Okay. And again, it's, it's, it's a little bit more expensive uh, as a trainer of what you would pay per hour to use this uh, helicopter. I'll take some shots of the interior. All right. So quick fast into the cabin here. As you can see, it's, it looks like a two-seater. Uh, as a trainer, it would be a two-seater, but if it's just a single pallet flying this, uh, you can always remove the cyclic on that side and sit two other people or two passengers over there. So this helicopter can carry up to three. Uh, and as you can see, the cockpit here, pretty standard. Uh, obviously, depending on who you know who is buying this, you can always configure the avionics to what you want. Uh, let me get a closer shot of this here. Pretty white glass, so visibility is not going to be an issue here. You've got your your rotor blade controls there. Those are called rudders in a, in a fixed wing airplane. Uh, this is a helicopter. I'm still getting familiarized with all the uh, the terms. <laughs> okay, your cyclics on both sides and your collective right here. Uh, again, pretty standard. Uh, typically, your trainer helicopters are about this big. This may be even wider in terms of the cabin space, honestly. Uh, I've seen a lot smaller uh, in a trainer helicopter. So let's see what they have right in the middle here. That's another collective again. So you've got one there and you've got one here. So for the instructor and the student. Let's see your, uh, your headset jacks back here. Let's see, I do see one glass uh, screen there. But again, your standard base model will come with analogs for your avionics. Uh, you can always configure it to have glass if you want to spend the money. You've got your radios down there. Lots and lots of leg room. Now, in terms of performance, this helicopter is not going to outshine your normal trainer. Uh, they all cruise around the same speed, which is about 105. Again, this helicopter has a turbocharged uh, IL-360 engine in it. Um, and you get to pay a little bit more per hour for your training. I am back here with you with another helicopter from the Heli Expo here. Uh, and the chopper we're looking at is the Enstrom 480B. Now, my previous video, I showed you an Enstrom helicopter that's used as a primary trainer. Well, think of this one as the big brother, okay? Unlike the, uh, the 280FX uh, from my last video, uh, this is a turbine powered helicopter. It is also used as a trainer, uh, but you can have this helicopter for a lot more different missions than 
the tiny little brother on the other side as you can see through the mirror so as you can see also like just look in the cab and you see a lot more uh, sitting area there but let me just take you around and just as at first glance you see that this particular helicopter is bigger okay it's it's uh, longer it's wider that's the 280 FX I just reviewed for you guys and over here looks like some type of some type of uh, surveying camera which I'm gonna get you some details on that but that thing looks really cool all right uh, now from the information I've been able to get about this helicopter it was originally built as a trainer uh, specifically for military training but then uh, Enstrom didn't win the the contract <laughs> For this helicopter so they decided to configure it more for civilian use and for EMS and uh, for all other types of mission that you can think of and so actually let me let me go in the uh, in the cabin to show you what I mean so if you look in here right you can see that the cabin you've got more sitting area here now, typically with your trainer uh, helicopter, you would have one and two, okay? And also you see that it's only one cyclic and one collective here. In your typical trainer, you would have two of these. Again, since the helicopter didn't win the contract back in the day, they decided to configure it for, uh, for other missions. That said, you can still use this 480B as a trainer uh, if you're looking to train a turbine uh, powered helicopter and look the cockpit is nothing nothing new quite standard and based on the customer you can always configure your your uh, cockpit and avionics to uh, to whatever liking that you want you've got your rotor tail controls there uh, now in terms of comfort I can't get in this thing but you can just, again, just use your eyes to gauge the space in here. It is roomy, but I'm sure you will have some, uh, some, uh, some challenges with the leg room, depending on who's sitting back here. Uh, you can't sit up to three people in the back and two people up front. So actually, let me count the seats, sorry. One, two. So there's a seat right here. One, two, three, four. I'm guessing you can probably sit three people here or you can use this additional room back here but as it is configured right now it's more like four people comfortably in here but you can't fit up to five and man I can't even tell you how much leg room whoever is sitting here is going to be enjoying so there is leg room and look at the seat configuration you can see that you can always pull this seat up if you need to to get more leg room in the back uh, there's a lot more room up there that you can pull this to and I like how they actually left this as is Instead of pulling it all the way up. So the pilot whoever's piloting this aircraft uh, can also uh, Move the seat as comfortably as they want Okay uh, In terms of the power plant, it's a Rolls-Royce 250 engine in there uh, performance 105 is around the cruise speed your max takeoff weight is 3,000 and the uh, the maximum altitude for this helicopter is 13,000 feet now price you're looking at 1.3 as a base price and depending on how you configure it obviously uh, the number will go up but anyway this is the Enstrom 480B. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button for me if this is your first time. And I will catch you guys on the next video.